The economy and the rise in crime across the United States is impacting a lot of people right now. That has some folks considering moving to more affordable, safer places. One state that might be considered is Indiana. They have a major city, Indianapolis. They also have Chicago suburbs, small towns and cities, and rolling farmland, so there's a variety of options from which to choose. So let's take a look at eight cheap and safe communities in the Hoosier State. Number 8. Kendallville Did you know that Indiana is one of the cheapest states in which to buy a home? According to homebuyer.com, they're ranked the second cheapest. They based that on the average home price and the average household income and found that an ordinary Joe would pay around 11% of their income on housing. And that's including Indianapolis, where things cost a bit more. But not everyone is cut out to be a city dweller, and that's where small towns like Kendallville come in. There are approximately 10,205 people who call this northeastern Indiana community home. Part of the reason is the affordability. The overall cost of living is 15% below the national average, and homes are even better, at 45% below the national average. The average home costs around $97,000. Small towns also typically don't have a lot of crime, but Kendallville does even better than expected in that category. They only reported 127 crimes on the last FBI report, which places their crime rate at 45% below the national average, with the chance of becoming a victim at 1 in 78. Number 7. Tipton Located in central Indiana, about an hour's drive from Indianapolis, is the small city of Tipton, with a population of 5,271. Despite being small, this place has all sorts of amenities for the residents to enjoy, including a 30-acre park, a golf course, a movie theater, and a community theater, just to name a few. The city also has a low crime rate that is 64% below the national average. They reported 9 violent crimes and 34 property crimes, so the chance of becoming a victim is only 1 in 118, making Tipton safer than 67% of U.S. cities. This place is also cheap compared to a lot of places across the country. The overall cost of living is 21% below the national average. Housing costs come in at 46% below the national median. A typical family home comes in at $104,200, with the current market running from a fixer-upper for $49,900 to a country estate for $724,900, with all sorts of options in between. If renting is more your style, the average rent is $698, which is significantly lower than the going national rate. Number 6. Daleville People who love peace and quiet might like the East Central Indiana town of Daleville. It's the smallest community on this list, with 1,662 residents, give or take. Given its small size, there aren't as many homes on the market as there are in some places, but the homes for sale they do have available currently run between $59,000 and $135,000. The overall cost of living is 21% below the national average, so most things in general are going to be more affordable than in many places. Groceries, for example, are 10% below the national average. Living in a community this size also means that there isn't much crime with which to contend. Their crime rate is 61% lower than the national average, with the chance of becoming a victim at 1 in 108, making the town safer than 69% of American cities. Number 5. Bluffton If you're looking for a place that appreciates and celebrates diversity, but you don't want to live in a huge city, Bluffton might be a good place to consider. The demographics from the last census show that 92.4% of the 10,318 residents are white, but they are actively trying to attract people of different backgrounds. This city was previously known as a sundown town, and they acknowledge their history of exclusion, but they're taking steps to rectify that and make the city as inclusive as they can. If you're also looking for a bargain on a home, Bluffton's housing costs are 48% below the national median. An average home comes in at $100,500. The current market has several options below $155,000, but if you want something a little fancier, they go up to $480,000, which is a steal if you're coming from either coast or a major city. In addition, this city is a place where you can feel safe. They only reported 9 violent crimes and 132 property crimes, which makes Bluffton safer than 68% of cities in the U.S., and the chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 73. Number 4. Frankfurt The central Indiana city of Frankfurt has 16,651 residents by the most recent estimates, so it has more amenities than some of the other places on this list, such as an observatory, a nature preserve, a golf course, and a summer theater, and they have plans to add even more, with a new aquatic center set to open next summer. They also lean into the Frankfurt name with their annual hot dog festival. They also have a cost of living that is 17% below the national average, with housing even better at 49% below the average. The median home price is $87,900. 
The majority of homes currently on the market are priced for less than $160,000, with the cheapest being $67,500. In addition, you probably wouldn't have to worry as much about safety as in some places. They only reported 6 violent crimes and 165 property crimes, so their crime rate is 54% below the national average. Frankfurt is safer than 78% of American cities, and the chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 93. Number 3. Huntington The largest city on this list is Huntington, with 17,015 residents. As such, it has more amenities than some of the places previously mentioned. For one thing, they have a free concert series that runs through the summer months. The second Saturday of each month, they have a new band perform. For the adults, they have wineries. For family fun, they have a drive-in theater, historical sites and museums, and a mural trail. They even have the Quail Vice Presidential Learning Center, which I'm guessing is for teaching people how to spell potato. Huntington is also only 26 miles from Fort Wayne, for those who want even more entertainment options. On top of all of that, housing costs in the Huntington area are 50% below the national median, with the average home price of $81,500. The current market has several homes under the $100,000 price point, but if you want something a bit fancier, they have those too. They have a little bit of everything. If you prefer to rent, the average, according to the Census Bureau, is $684. This place also doesn't get much crime. On the last FBI report, they listed 8 violent crimes and 249 property crimes. However, I should mention that a few weeks ago, they had a man attack 4 people with a knife, which resulted in 2 homicides. The man has been apprehended though, and it seems to be a fluke. Huntington usually has a crime rate that is 38% below the national average. The chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 67, with Huntington safer than 68% of U.S. cities. Number 2. Portland Sitting close to the eastern border of the state, Portland is home to 6,200 people, give or take a few. Portland is also home to several antique shops. I counted at least five, not to mention all of the various specialty shops scattered throughout the town, like a fudgery and a scrapbooking store. They also have quite a variety of restaurants and museums, which you don't often see in such a small community. Portland also has a low cost of living to entice new residents. It's 25% below the national average, with housing costs significantly less, at 56% below the national average. The median home price is $76,100. Right now, you could get a three-bedroom, one-bath home for $79,900, and the annual property tax on that particular home is only $433, so you could do a lot worse than Portland. The residents also don't have to worry much about crime. There were only 12 violent crimes and 65 property crimes reported on the last report, putting their crime rate at 46% below the national average. The chance of becoming a victim is 1 in 79, with Portland being safer than 59% of American cities. Number 1. Hartford City Where can you find an 8-bedroom, 5-bath home for only $250,000? Hartford City, Indiana, that's where. The housing market for this town of 6000 is crazy cheap. It's 61% below the national average, with a median home price of $61,500. The majority of the homes on the current market are priced for well below $100,000. And if you're thinking about starting up a new business, maybe this is the place for you. Hartford City has incentives to help new business owners get established, including tax abatement, tax credits, loans, and grants. This community also doesn't have much crime to speak of. Only 12 violent crimes and 29 property crimes were reported. If you're looking for the type of place that's reminiscent of Mayberry, maybe check out Hartford City. The chance of becoming a victim is only 1 in 137, and it's safer than 64% of cities in the United States. If you liked this video and want to support the channel, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like me to cover another state, leave a comment. I do read every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the current field.